Charlemagne, don't know if I see this one, but we're going to run in and see. So mm. he's talking about he's comparing Cardi B's impact to Jay-Z and Drake's. Cardi did for female rap what Jay-Z and Drake did. Whatever that next thing was out, Jay-Z was jumping on it. Whether it was Juvenile's High or whether it was Houston, whether it was Rick Ross, DMX, Jay-Z was jumping on it. 50 Cent, etc. And he says, it's the same thing. Drake did it with lesser known artists. What Drake did was making, making the record big. What Jay did with those cosigns was make the artist big. And he talks about when Jay jumped on Dope Boys Go Crazy with Jeezy and Hustling with Rick Ross and the remix, the Juvenile, all that. Then he said, I think Cardi's doing both. I think Cardi's helping to make the artist big and helping make the music big. Cardi doesn't just do the verse. She does the video. She, she go live with them. She'll talk about this mf -er, tweet about them. That's what she's supposed to do. So I that's see. where he's coming from I from see. a comparison standpoint. I'll destroy that, but you know. No, that no, you know what the context, the context is. You know what? Though. I'm not mad at this. When he once he once we got down to that last part, she does do that for a lot of the the female artists, and I think that's dope. That she it's a lot of people will do a verse. You won't see them. They won't be in the video. They won't talk about it. They'll get paid. Come no on, move man. on. You, you I, can't. I'm gonna rock with him on. I'm gonna rock with him on this. Hustling was a hit before Jay-Z jumped on it. Dope Boys Go Crazy for Jeezy already hit before she jumped on it. Let me tell you what Cardi does because, and, and you can speak to this, remember when Tomorrow yeah. came out and it, they had a video where she was on a private plane with a, her ugly girl crew and they <laughs> wow. was kicking it and signing the contract. Conditioned. The record wasn't 100%. doing nothing. But as, when Cardi jumped on it, yeah, it we haven't been able to get away from that song. It's It's true. Okay. Car, it's a song. Is it with Lotto now? Yeah, the record? put it on the floor. Put it when it was just put it on the floor, but now put it on the floor too. You put Cardi on it. Yep. It goes from being something that's just like a middle tier record that we might run at the beginning of the night. Now it's a one o'clock and, and better record. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now she got another song with somebody I, like um, I can't remember something. It's something new. Like, but Cardi will jump on a song, and that's her song now. Yeah. Because honestly, we could cut Lotto out of tomorrow and play Cardi's verse. Glorilla. Or, Glor or Glorilla, my yeah. bad. And it'll go. Like, as long as... That's the part every all the girls sing along to. That's true. And that's the, and the thing is, this is why she's so much different than Drake. Because Drake still will put out a record, uh, a whole album, you know, in between jumping on verses. Huh. Cardi ain't put out a record in five years. He's she right. hasn't. And Cardi she's has, still relevant. Cardi has remained in, not only relevant, but the fact that, like... When her records come on, her verses come on, that's the part all everybody's the, singing to. Everybody's singing to. Like, think about it. WAP, Money, Up. Mm -hmm. These are all Cardi B records, and they're not on any Cardi Tease B me. album. Yes, tease me. So she's found a way. I, I would almost say that she does something that Drake cannot do. Because Drake, I don't, maybe um, the Fetty Wap record, but that Fetty Rep record was going to go come out, uh, baby. My was, way. That was going to go with or without Drake. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think Drake could do that. But but I just know. Does he just not do it? Maybe. I, I, if anybody I just, has the power, I think Drake has the power. He has to the do power, that. but That's I have seen Cardi B turn records that were going nowhere into certified hits. I think Drake could do Drake that. Drake could too. do that in his sleep. He, he's if done he it. chose to he do it, it. I mean, with the JB Block, Block Boy rock, record. Mm. Mm. You know what I okay. mean? Like, okay. uh, Look Alive. Yeah. I haven't really seen a JB Block Boy record since. since. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So, I, Drake would be the equivalent, not Jay Z, in my opinion. No, Jay would. Because Jay was Jay was jumping on records, so, it was already so, hit. So so yeah, that's true. That is true. So this is this is this is what Cardi out here saving people's records. This yeah. is the difference. This Talk is the to difference. Him. Talk to him. Jay was trying to give credibility to said artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When Jay hopped on that record, it was like this is the new guy. Drake was still in sauce. Oh, mm. I can see that. You know what I mean? So He's like, hmm, I like, it's a nice like style. It. I, yeah. like I think that. I might want to use that. I like yeah, that. This, I like this that. record. This record's buzzing. Yeah. So let me, let me hop jump on this on wave. This. Yeah. yeah, let me hop on this wave. Yeah. And then you never hear from them people again. Good point. Uh, if they if they don't capitalize. Drake. Because Drake got a record right now with a cat named Smiley. Song is good. Mm-hmm. But I've never heard anything else from the dude. Smiley. And the dude Smiley is trash. And if Drake and if Drake does a a variation of Smiley, nobody's gonna care. Exactly. Nobody's gonna care. Exactly. Cardi's doing both. Yeah. She's it's, she's stamping the artist mm -hmm. and she's stealing some of the sauce. So you know she's what? she's she's capitalism. Yeah. Because you there know what? Is. She stays 
as someone who hasn't put out a full length album exactly. in five years, she's as relevant right now as she's ever been. Yeah, because that or that close to it, it. On, that put it on the floor record. That's uh, the song I was thinking about. Yeah, that that is that is the that's the Detroit flow. That's Cardi hopping on the Detroit beat. I don't even understand what this flow. new Detroit flow is. Is it like it's, it's not what you think? So cold in the D, like no, no, no. <laughs> no. You heard to put it on the flow record? Yeah, no, no. I know he hasn't heard you, that. Nah. So it's, it's, it's different. Remember, bro. remember it's when different. you was talking? Are about... Are they rapping like ahead of the beat a little bit? Boom. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> but no, I mean, and and just think about the time we've been we've been working together. Has there ever been a time when there wasn't a Cardi B song or a Cardi B feature that wasn't popping? No, no. no. And like I said. She hasn't put out a full length record in five and then it, years. It, as soon as it comes out, it's, it needs to be played. Yeah, you can't get there's away. No, there's no warming up to that record. You, you need to play that as soon as it comes out. And you know, yeah. we, it's funny. We talked about the concept of artists waiting. You know what I'm saying? In, in the, the last topic, if Cardi drops an album based off everything that we've discussed, it's going to go. You know why? Because all she has to do is put up. Money, WAP, and then have maybe one or two other records on there. It's going to go and up. It's, and and it's you, you're talking about another hit record. That's yeah. a supply and demand, really. Yeah. Like in, she in a streaming that era, it, 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 well. that's how it's going to work. If she capitalizes to your point with the supply and demand and choose the right time, it's going to go. It's yeah. going to ring off. No matter what she puts out. Let don't, her put out a record, put, uh, say, August, mid August, maybe late September when everybody's going back to school. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Don't put press on it and don't put hot ish on it either. Yeah, you know it's crazy. Yeah. Neither one of those records worked. Yeah, press. What was that? What was it on a Khaled record, and then Hot Ish. Oh, I thought I, that. I think that was supposed to be her lead single, and it didn't do nothing, even though it had Little Baby and Kanye on it. Man, I just don't care about this Dirk. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> or Dirk. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, man, I'm not mad at what Charlemagne said. I no, think it makes right. sense as it relates to he, female artists. I think he. I think he's right on the money with. Well, no, because this is this is. I the think thing. just in general, like just whether, in general, yeah, whether because, it's fe- you know woman artist or not, like I okay, think, I well, think no, because. You know, everybody says, oh, it was it was Nikki who gave women the think about how long Nikki was out and there were no other women that came along and did anything. But that was Nikki's fault. That's the difference between the two. Because True. it's Nick, True. Cardi Cardi is actually embracing True. the younger artist that's trying to come in. But when Very good but point. when all but when Cardi came out, all of a sudden it was a flood of other women. Because like it at one point it was maybe a five six maybe seven year period where it was Nikki and nobody else. She but had that it. was by design though. It was by design. I mean maybe they, they for a second Dej Loaf had a had a had a moment, yeah. but then she was out of here. But Only because so so imagine if Nikki hopped on the Dej Loaf record, oh. it would have done the same thing we talking about with Cardi. Exactly, that's the thing. She but, didn't embrace the younger artists. So, Cardi is. So we could also say that Cardi is responsible for Sexy Red. <laughs> yes, you could say that. Yes, yeah. Because she got the same story. We ain't gonna give her a trophy for that or nothing, but <laughs> but yeah, I but I mean, I'm you know, it's like no. I mean, if it, if 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 Cardi hadn't worked, then it wouldn't have been any Lotto. It wouldn't have been Agreed. no. I I disagree. It, you, don't you don't think, think so? No. It eventually, I, I, I saw I saw Lotto's different. You know the so? reason? Yeah, oh, Doja Cat. Uh, I saw I saw Lotto Doja on the rap game. Else. Okay, I didn't. I watch saw. That. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of when she was like twelve, thirteen. Oh, okay. okay. I, I'm sleep, so you put me on. Game. I just I'm know sleep. that there was is when Cardi hit. I got kids that was watching the rap game, so there was. <laughs> Are you cheating? There you was. Got, uh, I just. I just. So I, all of a sudden, there was a, a flood. They was like, "Oh, this is how we can make it work." Because for yeah. whatever reason, the powers that be and these people, these record companies, they saw Nicki as a one off, and mm-hmm. they did not try to nurture any more female talent. Which is wild to think about. Yeah. 